people don't want to police themselves. A mystery remains. When it comes to cannabis use and getting behind the wheel, from tech to education, the race is on to pump the brakes on impaired driving. So in the absence of, of science not being settled, what can we do? And what we can do is we can do prevention and education. Driving under the influence of cannabis is illegal, but with no single test to help determine a driver's impairment, there is a gray area. Alcohol is uh, water soluble. We all know the breathalyzer, but with cannabis, it's fat soluble. So how do we um, differentiate uh, recent use versus residual? use um, and that's the that's the million dollar plus question if you will I drive slower when I'm high cannabis okay. control commissioner Kimberly Roy says that is why education is fundamental especially in driver's ed classes I made it my mission as a commissioner to provide this important uh, life-saving information the commission found a partner in AAA Northeast. We're going to shift gears and talk about the blunt truth about marijuana and driving. The goal with the Shifting Gears program is both to educate as well as remove misconceptions when it comes to driving under the influence of cannabis. So we hear uh, folks say that when they're high, they are more focused and so they're more careful when they drive. AAA spokesman Mark Shieldrop invited us into a driver's ed class at Worcester Technical High School. It's impaired driving no matter what, whether it's alcohol or it's marijuana. Where they learn things like... The top picture is your brain looking out the front and where you concentrate in front of the car. And yet when you're high, this is the space that you see. It's all dropped down. Or almost like you're a racehorse with blinders on, not being able to see where you're going. All in hopes of reducing the number of impaired crashes on Massachusetts roadways. What we're finding is that cannabis is the most commonly occurring substance in the blood of fatally injured drivers. So oftentimes we see combinations of alcohol and cannabis occurring at the same time. In a recent survey, 95% of respondents considered driving after drinking alcohol enough to be over the legal limit to be very or extremely dangerous. Only 69% assessed the same level of danger for driving within an hour of using cannabis. Education may help. Marijuana can affect the way you think as well as your actions and that alcohol isn't the only problem for drivers. But what about testing for impairment before a driver gets behind the wheel of a car? Well, there's an app for that. They haven't come up with a way to accurately measure uh, impairment from cannabis, and we have that solution. I thought I could create a tool that would measure impairment from cannabis, and, and I did. And the Druid app was born. Druid stands for Driving Under the Influence of Drugs. Founder and Chief Science Officer Michael Milburn saw a need. I didn't create Druid to bust stone drivers. I wanted to stop them from getting in the car in the first place. So how does the app work? I identified the, the main uh, behaviors, capacities that are important for driving that get impaired by cannabis and alcohol. So reaction time, hand-eye coordination, balance. I just designed tools to measure those different capacities. The test on the Druid app takes about one minute. The key is first to take the test unimpaired to establish a baseline score. There are three tasks, mm -hmm. okay? You do one task at a time, okay. and each one has a little different instructions. It's really about how you do against yourself. Milburn and Chris Bensley, Chief Operating Officer of Impairment Sciences, the company that owns Druid, say there is no good or bad score. It's about how much drivers vary from their baseline. See a circle, tap where you saw it. Tap stop when you estimate 15 seconds have passed. I wanted to give it a shot. This thing's popped fast. Oh no, wrong one. I think this one might be easy. I just see the circle and count to 15. I can multitask, I can multitask. And then it was time for my baseline score. 43.8. And that was my first time doing it. The tasks may appear to be easy, but they're actually difficult in the moment, especially if 
you are impaired. Rather than a simple measure of substances in your body, Druid officials say the app tests the state of your brain and your body together. Our hope is that Druid is seen similar to a fever thermometer, in that the fever thermometer will tell you that you have a fever, but it doesn't tell you why. The same thing with Druid, we will tell you with the tool that you have an impairment, and then it's up to the, the professionals to, to determine what to do with that. The company hopes to eventually get the Druid app into hands of police officers to assist with the current roadside sobriety tests that are already in place. But for now, drivers can download Druid on their own. And Impairment Sciences is now marketing to employers as well, specifically industrial companies. They say Druid could help employers assess impairment of any kind, from cannabis to alcohol to exhaustion, and help determine whether an employee is fit for duty. Meanwhile, AAA's Shifting Gears course isn't just for teens. They occasionally offer a lunch and learn course for adults. Coming up, dinner with a kick.